everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video. So I thought that I would go through everything that I bought for Arthur whilst we have been weaning him. I'm going to let you know what I have found helpful and also what I haven't found helpful. So it may help you because I know what it's like when you're just about to wean your baby. There's so much stuff, there's so much information. So I thought that I would just share everything that I've bought and then you can kind of decide whether you think you might like to buy it or not. And I'll just let you know how useful I found everything. But I'm going to jump straight into it and just start talking about the high chair, which yes, of course, that is an essential. And I do include this on this video because I know some people do think, could I just get away with one of those little like travel seats or the bumbo seats, for example. But they do recommend you buying a proper high chair because that is the safest, most stable, secure place for your baby to eat for the majority of the time. So our high chair is a wooden one and we just really like the look of it. I think, to be honest, if we didn't want one that folded up we probably would have just bought the ikea one because it's so cheap everyone talks about it because it's meant to be really really good and obviously it is cheap too but we did really need one that kind of folded up because our space in our dining room is very very tight so it's just useful to have it to fold up like if we want to clean or if we were having people around having said that the majority of the time we don't fold it up so you just might want to think about that if you're thinking you want to save space because, I mean, now obviously he's in there three times a day, so it'd be quite a lot of effort to kind of fold it up every single time, so we don't bother a lot of the time. But I think we're still glad overall that we've got one that folds up, but yeah, there's just something you might want to think about. The other thing that I just mentioned there was buying one of those little high chair seats. So you can buy one that's like a travel one, you can buy the bumbo seat, you can buy ones that you strap onto a dining room chair, which is the one that we've got. And I think it only costs somewhere between 20 and 30 pounds, so it was fairly cheap. I do have to say we haven't really used it that much. I know some people use those sorts of things like when they just start weaning or occasionally, or if your baby's having a snack and you want them in the front room kind of thing, or if you're on the go, or even if you're out in a restaurant or something, you could probably put it on the dining room chair there. But yeah, we've only used ours once when we went away on holiday, but it was really helpful. The holiday place we stayed in did have their own high chair, but it was really, really cobwebby and just not very clean. It was just a bit grubby, so I didn't really want Arthur to sit in that one. So luckily we did bring the travel one anyway. So I think for the money, it probably was worth it. And obviously the way that things are in the world at the moment, we're not really going out, so we probably haven't been been able to use it anyway as we would but I probably would recommend getting one if you think that you would find it helpful. I also would just quickly say if you don't already have a dining table but you are potentially thinking about getting one then I would recommend getting it. I think it's just nice just to have all of you sat around the table. It's really good for the baby. Yes they're only young but they do pick up on things. They're pretty clever and yeah it's just really nice just to all sit at the table and just to get your child used to that. Obviously, if you don't have the space or the money to buy one, but I mean, if you're thinking about it, then I would recommend getting one. The next weaning essential I want to mention are bibs. So, of course, you will need bibs. Having said that, some people do just put their babies in a nappy or in a bodysuit, but I honestly, if I'm being completely honest, couldn't be bothered to, like, get my son changed in and out of his clothes every single time. That's just too much effort. Having a bib for me is just so much easier and quicker. So... My recommendation would be to get one of the bibs called a coverall. So you may have heard of the Bibido ones, which is this one here. So it's just a big bib, if you can see, and it's got long sleeves and it covers the whole of their front and then onto the high chair. So it actually catches any food. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook say, don't worry about getting those sorts of bibs. Just buy a long sleeve one. It's kind of like an apron. It kind of comes to their tummies and that's fine. And they are way, way cheaper. You can get those for a couple of pounds. Now, we bought those when we first started weaning my son from Aldi. I think they were the newbie ones, if I'm correct. And they're okay, but if Arthur drops any food kind of down that little gap between his tummy and the high chair, which he does a lot, or he puts his hands on his legs, and etc., the food just goes straight on his clothes and on his lap. So, to me, they're just not really worth getting, in my opinion. I think you just need to get straight to these type of bibs. The Bibido ones, they are expensive. I think they're around 20 pounds, which I know is a crazy price for a bib. I know that, but honestly, it's so, so worth it. Also, the website sometimes does have offers, so just keep your eyes peeled. We've also got a slightly cheaper version, which we found on, on no, eBay, sorry. I did have that in my last baby haul. So it's this one here. So it's basically exactly the same design. It is thinner material. In some ways, it's easier kind of getting it round him because it's a bit thinner, but it's not as waterproof. So the other day he had pasta and he, when he was drinking from his cup, he just like 
goes a bit mad with it and like spits out and stuff. So obviously this was getting wet and then mixing with the red tomato pasta sauce and it did actually seep through onto his clothes a little bit. But we do still use this if he's just not having anything like that. But I will leave these linked below and everything that I'm talking about I'll leave below in the description. But I would definitely, definitely recommend getting a coverall bib. Honestly, so, so worth it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a splash mat. So that's exactly as it sounds. It's just a big mat that you put under the high chair. As we all know, weaning is a very messy business. Babies will swipe food, drop food, just like, you know, play around with it and it does get everywhere. So the splash mat will protect your floor. Now, our dining room where our high chair is has got a wooden floor, which we can't really get wet. We're not meant to like mop it or anything. So for us, we did really need a splash mat. And obviously if you've got carpet, then I would definitely say you would need a splash mat. Having said that, if your table or where your baby sits is in the kitchen and you've got just normal kitchen tiles, I would probably say maybe you don't need to worry about getting a splash mat because if you've got to like mop it, mop the floor anyway, you may as well just not bother with a splash mat. That's my opinion. I think ours was around 10 or 15 pounds. And it's kind of the material, like a wipeable tablecloth. That's the material it is. So some, I was thinking you probably could just go to a shop and buy a few meters of that material. It may work out cheaper, I don't know. Or I have seen some people use a shower curtain. A definite winning essential that you will need is a cup. And I do recommend getting a free flow cup, which basically means it doesn't have a valve. So the baby doesn't need to suck to get the water out. Like if you just poured the cup upside down, the liquid would come out. So we've got this little one here, it's Tommy Tippy. We did actually buy this from Aldi. You can get them from Amazon and online. But anyway, this is a free flow cup. So when the spout's up and you tip it upside down, the water comes out. It doesn't pour out, but it does drip out. So it means Arthur doesn't need to suck on it. So they do recommend ones like that. You can also get open cups too. Obviously I could take this lid off. It's a bit of an effort to get it off. But you could take the lid off and obviously he can use that as an open cup. But at the moment like he'll he would just tip the whole thing over him but yeah i'm just really happy with that and this was only a few pounds so the next thing i want to talk about are things like cutlery and bowls and spoons and all those sorts of things so you may or may not need them i think if you are doing puree obviously you'll definitely need a spoon anyway definitely buy a spoon for your baby no matter what because even if you're doing baby leg weaning you can kind of preload the spoon and just give it to them. Obviously, if you're just doing traditional lead weaning, then just, you could spoon feed your baby. And you may also need like a couple of extra for your baby to hold and so on. So I've got these little spoons, which came with these bowls and it's got a wooden handle, but the actual spoon bit is kind of silicone, I think. So it's quite soft and nicer on their gums than hard plastic. Now, if you are doing baby lead weaning, which means giving them finger foods, essentially, then you may or may not really want to buy all of the bowls and plates and things because what we do with Arthur is just give him his food on the high chair tray, which if you're new to it, you might think, oh, that doesn't sound great. But honestly, when I put up a plate or a bowl down, he'll just try and get it up and it's just a complete distraction for him. So we found that he eats best if we just put the food straight on the tray. Obviously, at some point, he will have to get used to eating out of something, but for now, it's really, really fine. So, I would say, before you go out and buy anything, just have a little think. Maybe just buy, like, one or two things and just see how your baby goes and see what works best. I wouldn't go out and buy loads of it, but I'll just show you what we have got. So, as I said, we've got this bowl, which came with this spoon, and if you are buying bowls, definitely, definitely get these ones with suction. This actually comes off. It's quite nice because you could probably just use that bowl as it is at some point in the future. But yeah, it comes with these rings. So it comes with this base, which just sticks to the table. It has this little tab, which is how you get it up. And our son Arthur eventually will get this up or he like, he pulls on it and yeah, he will get it up. But it is quite nice for them to have that. Obviously, if they're having something like pasta or porridge, they can kind of just like scoop it out of a bowl. So that's quite nice. Just make sure it's not too deep. Now, you probably have heard of, I think it's Bamboo Bamboo, which are kind of the well-known brand. This is a cheaper version that we find on Amazon. And I would recommend getting this kind of material. I just think it's nicer and it doesn't like stain like plastic wood with pasta dishes and so on. We've also got this plate here, which a lot of people use, these sorts of ones. Again, this is a cheaper version. It's got the silicone base too. And yeah, it's just got compartments. You can get different animal faces. It does look really pretty. I see loads of Instagram accounts using these types of plates and it does look really, really pretty. But realistically, if you give this to a baby, they may just try and flip the whole thing off. But 
as I said, maybe just buy one and see how you get on. The other thing that I have tried with Arthur recently is a silicone mat. So this kind of just sticks to his high chair tray, so it's completely flat, and then it's just got the little compartments. But I don't know if this is just like the wrong one or if this is maybe better for plastic high chairs than wooden ones like I one. But it just didn't it it did stick, but like he got it up so so quickly. But I've heard people say these are really good. So if you're going out to a restaurant or somewhere and you don't really fancy using their high chair tray, you can just like take this along with you and you just stick it on. And yeah, they are really good. Um, but yeah, kind of just have a think and see what would work best. But especially if you're doing baby led weaning, you may just want to start off with a high chair tray and just see how you get on. You may want to make sure that you've got some sort of microwavable dish to warm up your baby's food, particularly if you are doing purees and things. I just stick them in there and put the lid on and put them in the microwave. And this is from Ikea. We probably got microwavable dishes, but we didn't have, actually have loads, so I wanted to buy a special one for Arthur, so I'd recommend getting something like that. If you are doing purees and traditional weaning, you'll definitely need one of these, which is a silicone ice cube tray, so you blend up your food, you know, blend up your purees, you pop it in there and freeze them. And then to go along with that, you'll also need some freezer bags, so once these are froze, frozen, is that the right word? Frozen, you can pop them out and put them in a freezer bag to keep them and then obviously that means you've got your ice cube trays free. So I 100% recommend getting these. Once your baby reaches six months old, the NHS recommends getting them vitamins A, C and D. So I'm just including this on this weaning video. So if your baby is having more than 500 ml of formula, they don't need these vitamins, but if they're having less then they do. So it's A, C and D. And I just picked those up from Amazon and it comes with a little syringe so you can either get it in their food or I actually just put it straight in his mouth because if I put it in his food he might only have half of it sort of thing so just go straight in his mouth and yeah I would definitely recommend getting those. As I said before weaning is really really messy obviously it's great for the baby they can get their hands in and get messy that's what they're meant to do it's all part of exploring food and getting used to it but it does mean that they get really messy so you will need something to wipe their hands and face with you can use wet wipes, but I don't know, like we used to use those for quite a while, but they're probably not great like for his skin as well, and obviously it's quite expensive, it's very wasteful, so on. So you could buy some special cloths. So you can buy, there's more expensive makes like cheeky wipes and gubbins that I've heard of, but I actually picked these up from eBay, and I thought they were going to be like the microfiber ones that you get for cleaning, but they're not, these are so, so soft they're much softer than that they are microfiber but just really like fluffy and soft and this is a pack of three i think it was just under three pounds from ebay so it's really really soft like really gentle on his skin when i wipe him you can also use muslins too so sometimes i'll use a muslin to like wipe his mouth or even just dry it off after so that he doesn't get too sore but yeah you'll definitely need something to wipe them off with after Something that you will need, particularly if you are doing traditional weaning and you are doing purees, and even if you're doing baby led weaning, there's just some things that you might want to like cook up and blend and stuff. So you'll definitely need something to blend your food and maybe something to steam. So they do say steaming vegetables is the best way of keeping all the nutrients and vitamins in. I think boiling comes a close second and now a lot of the time we do just boil things because Arthur's one nice so he's having the same foods as us anyway so we're just kind of like cook whatever we're cooking and we'll just be boiling but we did buy this which is a steamer blender and it can also reheat foods too now you don't necessarily need this is this is for a baby it's for weaning you don't necessarily need to buy that if you've just got a steam or a blender anyway then you can just use those but this is so easy because we put it in there put a bit of water in it steams it and then you just tip it back in and just blend it and it's all done for you and it's just quite nice Having something like that because you just put it in, press the button, and you don't need to stand at the oven, you know, at the hob watching something boil and timing it. It just does it all for you. So it is really, really easy. And as I said, if you're doing purees, obviously you have to have a blender. So I think this was around £50. So you probably may, I don't know, you may be able to get something cheaper. We did do quite a lot of research though and looked into it. And this did come up really high like reviews and I think probably price as well but yeah obviously you can buy just an adult normal kitchen blender or steamer whatever but we can of course use this for us so you may have even seen this in a recent video that I did and I was making something I was using this to blend up but yeah it will definitely need something like this especially if you are doing purees 
The very last item that I want to talk to you about is this book. So it's the What Mummy Makes book and it's for weaning, all the different weaning recipes and some guidance and advice in there too. And I mean, it's not necessarily an essential because obviously you can get so much online now. There's loads of good websites. She actually does have a good Instagram account where she shares some of her recipes anyway. But sometimes it's just nice to have a book to kind of flick through. And it's all, it's pretty simple and yeah, it's like sweet, savoury things, lunches, desserts, just everything in there really. It is a really good book. So that's What Mummy Makes and you can buy this on Amazon. That was in my recent Amazon haul if you watched that too. So yeah, it's not necessarily an essential but I do think it's nice to have a book just to have a little flick through, look at the pictures and see what takes your eye. So that is a bit of a whistle stop tour to everything that I've bought Wien and Wise and the things that I find useful, not so useful, things that I've used and so on. So I really hope that you found this video helpful. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you like mum life content. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone!